go to the swap meet and buy some cool stuff. Yeah, what do you think? There might there might be some stuff for Daisy. Oh, <laughs> there might be some stuff for Daisy coming home too. They're both like attracted to this little blob, this glass blob thing, which I'm not exactly sure what its purpose is and how it works. Wow, can you just picture the ladies sitting here sewing? Why do they have to be ladies? Because it was, it's just the way it was. It's just the way it was. It was the ladies doing this. Hey, hey Jordan, Jordan service. <laughs> parking gods have shined on us today <laughs> like what were the chances that we would get a spot this close to the entrance this is beautiful this is such a beautiful thing it's saturday morning in san diego and we are on our way to the swap meet you're so much more lively than me is that how i have to be on camera yeah do that. Not if you're not a lively person though. Okay. You just have to be you. Just be you. Just be you, Jordan. Tickets in hand. We're heading in. They're both like attracted to this little blob, this glass blob thing, which I'm not exactly sure what its purpose is and how it works. It's got a hole in the bottom. I don't know. And maybe it's supposed to be like a flame. I don't know. I don't know. It's chipped though and it's big. Look at this puffin. Oh, look at this puffin fish. Oh, he's amazing. All hand carved. How much is your bird? The bird is 45. 45. Oh. Yeah. It has, uh, sign on the he has signed. Let's see. Oh, right there. K. Durham. No, he's nice. He's very nice. Very, very nice. This looks very mid-century. There's probably a signature underneath that green felt piece. It's got really nice things. Really nice. Oh, brass. Oh, I see horses over there. I see horses. <laughs> that would that would do them for a while. Yeah. It's at least two rounds of golf, right? Two rounds of golf. <laughs> Suwanti Galleries. It's not super heavy, which means it's hollow. That's really beautiful though. Oh gosh. Oh, look at that fish lamp. Look at that koi lamp. Oh, that's amazing. Look. Ah, oh, he's gorgeous. How much are you asking for him? That one is 45 for me. 45. That's probably a really good price for him. I just can't get him home. I just can't get him home. Let me concentrate on stuff I can get home. He's a he's a Padres fan, huh? <laughs> Look at all these industrial old sewing machines. They got rows and rows of them. This probably came out of some kind of a commercial shop or wow. Can you just picture the ladies sitting here sewing? Why do they have to be ladies? Because it was. It's just the way it was. It's just the way it was. It was the ladies doing this. Oh, we have some loud music here, so I'm not sure. You'll be hearing me say any of this. Royal Saxony silver plate. There are some very interesting things here today. Ooh. Yes. They're flashed on now. The colors are all flashed on, which means they would scratch really easy. How much 
much is your uh, doorknob? $15. 15 I don't need that. I know, I don't. it probably doesn't work anymore though. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, hey Jordan. Jordan service. <laughs> so I loved these copper candle holders. I love that there was a pair because often I'll just find one of something and then I can't do anything with it. But um, these were really cool. And I was kind of asking him prices and he wanted 15 on these as well. But now I'm thinking if I make a pile, I can probably wheel and deal with this guy because he's got a lot of really cool stuff. So I was looking to see if these might have said Melmac, which they didn't. They were just unmarked. Mel is it melamine 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 I always I always forget which one it is I liked these little painted eggs I was really really pulled I really really thought about getting those but I did end up leaving those behind just a lot of really interesting things on this vendor's table and I did pass the solar turtle because I just did. <laughs> I liked this tablecloth and I was about ready to put it in the pile when I noticed all of that staining kind of looked like rust. And I wasn't sure I'd be able to get that out or anybody else would either. You know I was drawn to the color of that radio, but radios are not really my thing. So I left that one behind as well. little crystal elephant didn't have a name or anything on it so I did end up leaving him and I know some of my elephant loving viewers will probably not like that but I had to try to have a little bit of discipline this looked like a German piece to me and I flipped it over and indeed it was a German music box but Looks like it had a run-in with some water. So we left that too. Keys, I know there are people who do really well with some old keys, but not me. So I left those. that cobalt blue glass pretty 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 but again I was already at this point thinking how am I gonna get all this stuff home since I'm flying on this trip this Brahma bull caught my attention I probably should have picked him up but I didn't I did however get the little cherub candle holder uh, made in Hong Kong real coral this is not synthetic coral this is real coral which uh, is pretty heavily sought after it's a pretty nice piece too um, because very few places that coral can be harvested anymore so it's pretty scarce on the market so you've got a couple purses here to look at I like this one I don't really like the green on the inside but I, uh, I like the purse itself Yeah. Ooh, look at the Raku Cross. Look at ah. this sign. It's a magnet. Could be a pendant also because it's got. It can hang. Okay, we'll find out. The prices are a little bit high, but maybe the more things we buy, the more we can negotiate. Loma Santa Fe Plaza.com for specials and offers. I five at Loma. 
Oh, the radio in this booth is so incredibly loud. I am just gonna do voiceover for a little bit. This is made of walnut. It's a really nice piece. But I didn't end up leaving that. Of course, I loved the little wood apples. They were so realistic looking. Pretty bowl. Could not find a signature on it or anything. Also thinking, hard to get home. And I know people are gonna say, well, you can check two suitcases and all that. Like I really, I really wish these were, were in better condition because these I would have taken a chance on getting them home in the suitcase that I had. But uh, honestly, I wasn't super prepared to bring a bunch of stuff home on this trip. It was just a fun, fast trip that um, I already knew I was gonna leave a bunch of stuff at Jordan's new house. I'm actually renting space at Jordan's house just for such occasions. That way I can go out there more and shop and not worry if I can't get everything home without cluttering her home. It all is gonna work out great. I know this was old and it had like all the Kellogg cereal guys on it, but I didn't know too much about it. And it's not really my niche. Super cute little guy, but he was pretty chipped up and I did not see a name on him anywhere. So I had to put him down too. Lots of little figurines and doggies and things and I'm really, really trying to be disciplined. Yes, I left that turtle behind because he actually had a candle in him. I knew that wouldn't make it home safely. But then look at this. Oh, this is a beautiful piece of Caithness glass. It's a crackle glass. It's purposely made that way. And it's in this lavender purple. Like, uh, yeah, I'm grabbing that. Had to look at all the glass after that just to see, you know, if there was any other like really good pieces like that one. But that's the only one that really, really drew me. So I got it. I loved the look of all of those different shaped candle holders and vases together. I really, really liked that arrangement. But then I spotted an owl trinket box and I could not open it one-handed, but you know how these open. I did go ahead and put him in my pile. This vendor has lots of really, really fun stuff. Had I been driving, I probably would have picked up a few more pieces. But again, I'm trying to remember. Be disciplined, Danny, be disciplined. It's very hard for my brain. I like that square basket. Really, really like that square basket. And then just some funness. This caught my eye. It is a fan that's like a tin top with a wood base and it opens by sliding the fan. I could not find a mark or anything on it. I suspect it's made in India. It's just a really beautiful piece, so I picked that up. Looking at some little dishes and pottery pieces and then I thought, oh, this is easy to put in the suitcase. I will grab this little micro bead necklace. Yogi Bear! Cool little cow creamer. I was like, okay, what's in this box? What is in the box? There was nothing in this box. <laughs> there was absolutely nothing in that box. Those are the margarita glasses that actually have the um, siesta guys on them. Not just the cactus, but they have the little sleeping siesta guys. Those do pretty good. And then, of course, you know that did not get left on the table. Such an assortment of stuff. Oh my gosh. Then there was this, um, this is a sea urchin skeleton lamp, but it looked like it wasn't quite all together. So I left that one. As much as it pained me, I left that one. This is a beautiful 
plate reminded me of like a Royal Derby. Uh, you can see it's pretty cracked on the back. It says Bombay is the pattern. Really, really pretty plate. But I left that one behind. And these were super interesting in the little holders. Again, I was, I think these are more contemporary, but boy, they were really interesting looking. And then I spotted them, the cobalt blue candle holders. Now you'll have to stay to the recap to find out who makes these. It really surprised me. I thought they might be a Blanco, but they are not a Blanco. And you might be seeing it there on the screen, but just, just, just wait. I'm gonna tell you exactly who they're made by and how much they're worth. This is actually a gourd and it's signed and it's really, really well done. And of course there's a bird on it. So uh, we're definitely gonna bring that one home. I thought this might be Czechoslovakia, but it is not. It is made in Japan, lusterware. Sometimes they look very similar. This has had little birds on it as well, so I had to take a peek. I don't think those are the salt and peppers meant to go in that holder. These big silver orbs were so cool. And then the little dream pet caught my eye, but he's in really rough shape. But those big silver, what do they call those? Gra grazing balls or something? I almost picked up this tablecloth. Really fun, fun pattern. I don't, I'm not trying to think now why I didn't. Cause I'm looking at it now going, that's really cute. I should have picked it up. Should have done it. He had tons and tons of beads, patches, sewing stuff probably all came out of that commercial you know industrial sewing machine probably a storage locker that he had bought and then there was games and this one caught my eye uh, it is a 1959 space bug game and it was all there so I was like okay I don't normally pick up games but I'll make an exception for this one because it's really really cute I'm just kind of peeking through some of the textiles. There was all these old hats. I just, old hats are not really my thing. If Carrie had been with me, she'd have been all over these old hats. I mean, come on, look at that one. Punch tin. Quite a bit of that down in San Diego because it comes out of Mexico. So lots of the Mexican pottery, the Mexican folk art, the, you know, a lot of that stuff ends up at this swap meet, which is really cool because it's very, very popular in the resale market. Uncle Wiggly. That one brings back memories, I'm not gonna lie. Ralph Lauren, sometimes those can bring some really good money. Looking at the little raw stones there. This looked like bohemian glass. It came from home goods, but it's still bohemian glass. And Las Vegas glasses. Lots of that in Southern California as well. Can I leave it? Yeah, I need to leave it. It's yeah, but it's it's this part. This is the the South American. Mm. Like, cause here's another one. This one's all faded, though. Unfortunately. And then you're looking at sweaters. Really? I spent $85 on every single thing I got there, so I feel like I got a really, really good deal. It started off a little bit like high, but then he started negotiating with me. 
and uh, by the end it was all good we got a good discount so that's a lesson learned don't give up on a dealer just because they initially come out with a big price that's happened twice now today so uh, negotiate that's what the that's what the swap mart swap mart swap, mart. swap, swap meet flea market is all about negotiating prices look at this little cutie oh my gosh that's just so stinking adorable with all the little mice dancing and frolicking and partying and it says something there's something that says the cat something I don't know what what does that say in their background I don't know um, I think that's a signature on it made in England from the greenwood.com I like it what do you are they little solar? They don't work, but they're so They're cute. little solar guys that they're don't high. work. <laughs> this is what everybody does now. They put things in my path to point it out to me. Oh, that's a very, very dirty dooney. A dirty dooney. Let's see. This is $5. I think I, I'm definitely going to get this, but I have to look at this little horn picture. It's cracked pretty bad. Unfortunately, it's the ale horn. That's a little crazy. Oh, I knocked over the penguin. This is um, Garfield's girlfriend, right? I think so. Yeah, I don't know what her name is, but I don't think she's as popular as little Garfield, so. All right, we're gonna get this and go. Okay, I think I found some pretty cool, uh, what I call gas money for my friend, Sunny Las Vegas. I like to pick him up something he can list and sell on eBay because he's such a good friend, he won't take gas money from me. So this is coming to you, Sunny Las Vegas. Oh boy, we're going in. Ooh, Pinocchio. Ooh, this, this booth is crowded. Very crowded. Oh my gosh, look at that. Remote control Millennium Falcon. That's uh, got to be worth a few bucks. It's not my thing though. Not my thing. Little knight costume. It's always fun to just see all the other stuff too that's not really in my wheelhouse, but I can appreciate for those whose wheelhouse it is in. There's a Reiki's bear. This one's pretty roughed up. I have trouble selling them if they have damage, unfortunately. I'm sure there's somebody that knows how to fix them up. But it's not me, and nor do I have the time to try to learn. Let's see some interesting things over here. Those are a little frightening. Horseshoe, downtown Las Vegas, Nevada. It's funny how all the Vegas stuff ends up in California. Okay. I don't see anything too exciting here. I see a lot of tools. We're starting to get hot. We're starting to get at that point where we're skipping a few things. Yeah, they're open tomorrow too. I could always review my video and uh, maybe come back for some things. Ooh, this is Spellbinder. It's the 1932 property of Bruce Manning. It's the script for Spellbinder. That's kind of interesting. This is not Murano. Definitely not Murano. All right. Oh, cool bike. Let's see what she's looking at down here. Fifteen. No, that's uh, fifteen times five. Scooby Doo, where are you? Lots of toys, lots of toys, lots of CDs, lots of Hummels. Hummels, Hummels are not good, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, that is that is quite the uh, spaghetti mishmash of wire right there. Ah, 
I just picked up this little baby here also for my gas money. Uh, this is Sugar Ray Leonard. We did uh, verify that that is Sugar Ray Leonard's signature. I think that it's there. That's how it goes. So, but we did verify it. The, the hat's a little, hat's a little, little rough, but I think actually it's not as bad as I'm thinking it is. It's just flattened on. Um, it's a 19.99, so we got it for 10 bucks. Oh, look at all these crocheted hats. Goodness. A lot of projects going on for somebody there. A lot of these sellers just get things out of storage lockers. So that's why there's such a huge variety when you come to a swap meet or a flea market. Like they're they're just putting it all out on tables for you. And they know some stuff and they know what they've sold in the past and pricing and that, but they don't really know, you know, like the, the deep dive stuff like us eBay sellers who look it up. They don't know what it goes for. They just know what they can sell it for. Oh, these bookends, those are it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. There's a Dorothy Thorpe punch bowl, looks like over there. Maybe not. I don't know if that's the original stand, but that is the Dorothy Thorpe silver band. Oh, lots of mishmash stuff. Mishmash stuff for sure. Oh, nice. Sort of been like a show quality riding helmet. Troxel is actually a really good brand. Um, really don't want to do a used helmet for safety purposes. Like you can see here, here's like the expiration date. They do wear out as far as their protective quality. So this would be like just a decorator piece now. You wouldn't want to use that for protection of your head. Because likely, it, uh, if it gets put under the pressure of uh, needing to protect your head, it's not going to. So. Rachel has a really, really old one that she hangs on the wall that she loves. I want to make a beer. There's some plushies over here. Oh, California Raisin. Oh, he's even got his original tag from 1988. 1988, original tag on this little guy. Let's see what else is in this little pile of squishy dudes. Oh, he looks like he's from, um, he's a 1987. Isn't he from Donkey Kong? Yeah, he's the Donkey Kong dude. All right, let's find out how much these guys are. Ted E. Bears. Who else is here? Who else is over here? I don't know. I don't know who this dude is. He's old, but... I think I'm gonna stick with uh, it's a little bug in there. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out a price on him, Donkey Kong, and him, California raisin. Nicky stuff, decorative stuff. I bet Rachel, Rachel, I bet Jordan's over there somewhere in the clothes. Five dollars for the pair. Looks like some very mid-century stuff over here. Look at this little guy. Chicago, Illinois souvenir. Pretty bold. That little hole right there is where it was hand turned. It's gotten gotten some damage though. Very mid-century. Cool stuff. Oh, look at these owls. Uh, look at the owl. I guess it's owl. I was seeing a rumple and I thought maybe there was two. He's like a wall hanging. He is very cool. There you go, sir. Very cool. Aww. How are you today? Yeah. We are wheeling yeah. and dealing on everything. So. Okay, well, how much are you wheeling and dealing on him? Uh, you can have that <laughs> one for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. He's pretty one, spectacular. They were all like that little birds with their beaks up in the yeah. for change. Oh, for change? Yeah. I thought maybe he was a uh, ashtray. Oh, no. They, well, actually, yeah, I guess he could. But I had like a couple different ones with uh, little ones. And you put your change up, in had, it. Uh, pennies inside. Okay, I love him. So I thought, the hell fun is that? 
All right. That was a beautiful little one too. I'm gonna splurge. No, oh, you did. Yeah, now you. We're marking everything down usually. You got some really cool stuff. Thank you. We do like all kinds like, of holy moly! Look That's at the area. size of that. That one's a beautiful. Woo. one. It's hard to find a big amber ash tree like this. This actually, these were given. We met somebody in the military, and they said that they, these were given to uh, people uh, that were in the military as gifts. Okay. That's why they're so big. So it's, I know it's an unusual size. Yeah, yeah. But they were actually more kind of like a like a statement piece. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like when you work for a company in your twenty years. I worked for a company for uh, ten years, and they gave me a cube of glass, and I was like, well, "What am I supposed to yeah. do with that?" But it was kind of like a more of a generosity thing. Would you do twenty on it? Uh, what is the price on it? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Prima. She said, "If you'll do 20 25 Huh? Ah, come on. <laughs> so all you can do is 20. Yeah, because I'm giving you a 20 on this guy, too, so. Oh, <laughs> She said yes. Okay. So that one you can have for 12. Don't lose the sale for $3. <laughs> exactly. oh. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Woo, that is cool. All right, I got. I'm getting that ashtray for twenty. He, you see, he told the story. The story sold me. I don't know if it's true. I'll do a little research and find out. But but it seems like it could be Blanco. That's what I'm thinking. Another cool tiki piece. Use it, certainly use it, but it's such a beautiful wood. It would look. It is. It's, it is beautiful. It says I can have that for ten bucks. I think I got to add that too. Look at that, look at all that fake fruit. I'm I'm gonna resist, I'm gonna resist it. I'm gonna resist those bunnies over there too that are really, really cute. Lots of really cool stuff at this particular spot. But again, this is a, this is a dealer. They know what they've got. Look at those geese. Look how beautiful those are. I love those. Look how beautiful they are. This is the one that always has all the mid-century furniture. Look at these chairs. They just need the, the little fabric pieces to go in them. Dollar horse, 35s. Oh, there's got the original label. Yeah, they know what they've got. They know what they've got. Beautiful paintings, gorgeous. I see the glass, I see the horses. I'm always drawn. Takahashi, it's a really They're cute. Century. Yeah. They're made in Japan. I've had a number of people remark to me that they've seen the white one over the years, but they've yeah. never seen a black one. What are you asking on those? 25 for the pair. For the pair, it's a fair price. I'm guessing Tokyo, 1955, 1960, right yep, in there. Yeah. And they're candle holders, you see. Yes, I saw that. Yes. That's cute. Just needs a little salt and peppers. I have a little uh, description. <laughs> well, we got music hitting us from all sides right now. I miss my Cadillac. That was a good car. Something tells me we're going to be doing a little try-on haul with Jordan. <laughs> Can you put this one back for me? Not getting? Getting? Getting. Getting. Oh yeah, I won't make you try on the sweaters. Yeah. But it's cute, isn't it? It is cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I just bought $120 worth of purses, which will be showing up in my purse whatnot sale. Oh my gosh, look at those weights. Those are pretty fantastic. Well, there is that. So we're heading out and uh, I, Jordan kept going, but I made a quick stop because I found something. I found something really, really good, and I'm really excited about this find. And I learned this from Rally Roots. Uh, this is a liquid blue Grateful Dead shirt. I'll show it to you better when I 
get a chance to kind of stop, but uh, it's all over print, front and back, in a size large, and hi, it's faced on me, sorry. Can I get in there? Can I get in the FaceTime, please? <laughs> all right, we got... I got it, I got it, I got it. It looks fun. But, uh, 80 bucks, I got it for 80 bucks. And I'm pretty sure that's a good deal. I'm pretty sure. All right, so we are gonna go find Jordan. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, this is when it's so beautiful to be so close to the entrance because this is when you're really tired and you just want to be at the car. And uh, there she is. And we don't even have to worry about the uh, license plate on this one because it's a rental. Okay, I have to show her. I have to show her. Lay that out. Lay that out. Lay that out. Let what me. What did you find? Look what I found. Teddy bears. It's Grateful Dead. Okay. It's Grateful Dead. We're just tie-dye yes and I walked by and I found it and his price was amazing we, we looked at another one in the back and they were asking 200 for it and I knew I couldn't do that um, but there How is your you get this one for? liquid blue label size large it's got the all-over tie-dye the teddy bears I'll flip it over here in a second okay like now <laughs> it's double I guess it's double-sided what they call it but then you've got these guys on the back I got it for $80. $80! Okay, that's a wrap. I love this Swappy. I love it. I Every time I come here, I come away with such amazing things. I may have to go buy a suitcase and then uh, check a bag. I didn't check any bags. I just did a carry-on. But it's not out of the realm of possibilities that I could just go find a suitcase and get my stuff home. Or I can leave it here until I come back out in October. I have to decide what I'm going to do. I hate leaving my stuff behind. I get so excited like when I buy it. I want to deal with it. I want to work with it. I want to research it. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. Right? Yeah. That's in the family. Yeah. I'm driving. She's driving. I need to find her to grow like a responsible adult. I'm not supposed to be harassing her right now. All hey, right. Movie. I don't know where we're going next. We're going to go someplace fun. We're having fun. The whole weekend is fun, 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 fun. 
and uh, so you're just gonna have to come back and uh, see what else, what trouble we got into on this San Diego uh, thrift with me adventure. All right, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.